Joining us in Post 9 with his take on the numbers, Jan Hatzius, Goldman Sachs Chief Economist, Head of Global Investment Research. It's great to have you. Happy Friday, Jan. Great to be here. Um, a lot of talk about the number. I'm wondering, is, can you frame it in the constructive way that you're, the House view has been on the economy? I think it's a very constructive report. We had a pretty good increase in non-farm payrolls. In fact, somewhat stronger than expected, especially if you allow for some of the special factors, the yellow bankruptcy and the Hollywood writer's strike. Uh, if you add that in, you're above 200,000. Household employment actually growing above 200,000 as well. The increase in the unemployment rate that we saw, which is you know pretty sizable, three tenths is pretty sizable, but it was entirely driven by an increase in labor force participation, which is what you want to see. And then the average hourly earnings number did show a downside surprise, only two tenths increase. And that is also what the Fed wants to see, because at this point, wages are still growing somewhat faster than what's compatible with 2 percent inflation right. in the long term. So if I look at this and then also if I bring in the jolts number, the uh, you know, job openings and, and quits numbers that we got earlier in the week, this is very consistent with the soft landing. You, we've talked all year long about your below consensus recession odds, uh, and yet you are looking for cuts in Q2, right? And maybe a cut every quarter uh, after that. Yeah, I would frame it as very gradual cuts. We have 25 basis points each in Q2, Q3, Q4. And that's basically driven by inflation coming back down, moving back towards the target. We don't think we'll quite get to 2 percent in 2024. But as Chair Powell has said, they're going to start moving the funds rate very gradually lower before they get to 2 percent because, you know, at five at a five handle, they think policy is tight. How does the Fed look at kind of excluding some of those special items? Because you mentioned otherwise excluding the yellow bankruptcy and the writer's strike and the actor's strike, we could be looking at 240,000. Um, so, you know, do they look at that when they think about whether or not the economy is potentially a little bit hotter than uh, the headline number might suggest? I think they do you know, take out some of these special factors. Clearly, the staff does a lot of work on these numbers, and that will be very well, uh, you know, very well understood inside the Fed. However, they also look at a longer run of indicators. And if you take not just the latest, the August number, but also July and June, then we're looking at something, you know, a little below 200,000 and con consistent with the deceleration in the trend that's probably still ongoing. So Joel. I you know I do think it's there is deceleration. I'm just saying that the latest job growth number was actually pretty firm, both on the establishment and the household side. Yeah. Uh, and Lyle Brainerd seemed to kind of brush off the, the concern around wage growth and whether that was contributing to higher inflation. Do you agree with that? Or as you kind of look at the print from today's report, do you say, oh, that's, that's still ticking up. You know, maybe we could see some more spiraling uh, upward in terms of you know, what that means for the overall economy. Yeah, I think today's news there was, you know, positive at the at the margin in the sense that it was a weaker uh, wage print. We do need some deceleration, I think, in wage growth to be consistent with 2% uh, price inflation over, over the long term. And incrementally, today's news was positive. I don't think that, you know, wage increases were the primary driver of the inflation surge. That was really much more imbalances in the goods market and supply chain, et cetera. But we do need to ultimately see wage growth come down on a year-on-year -year basis from the fours to somewhere in the threes for the Fed to be fully comfortable.